up guys? So here I am in Morocco again, but this time around for the Africa Twin Morocco Epic Tour. This is an Africa Twin solo event, and there's 75 of these puppies here to make the wonders of everybody around. Nós vamos todos juntos a divertir-nos para o Mundial. Estamos todos preparados para a aventura. Listo? Listo. Preparadíssimo. Estou cheio de pica. 75 African Twins, 75 Riders. Mal, mal, mal. O que pode ir errado? Everybody looks super pumped. I'm super pumped. Let's get fucking going. Guys, that's the thing about Morocco. The landscape is simply breathtaking. We barely started and we've already gone through some amazing places. That little canyon there, I think it's really precious. I wish we had more time to stop. We gotta get our day done before night falls. Some of the terrain is, you know, hard. You gotta know what you're doing. Uh, and I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm still having fun. Eu tô com meio que é vasco. É isto ou ainda vamos para pior? Ou, ou já é, não, agora é sempre a melhorar. Cada vez ah, é sempre a melhorar. Mais bonitas, cada e já passámos a parte mais difícil. Mundo, é ainda não passámos a parte difícil. Ah, ah ainda vem a parte difícil. Já começámos a apanhar a zona divertida e cada vez vamos apanhar mais. He's saying the hard part is still to come. Well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Estupendo, estoy muy contento. Eh, con Vasco estuvimos el año pasado y fue magnífico y este año hemos tenido la suerte de repetir. No podemos pedir más. ¿Qué se ha gustado más? <risa> la zona de las piedras, es eh, lo mejor. <risa> es donde se nota el buen pilotaje. <risa> the terrain is really rough, there's just so many rocks on the way. Uh, just demands all your focus. We've done 170 Ks by now. That means we still have like 140 Ks to go, so... Just a little more than halfway. Starting to feel a little tired. I'm still fine and okay, and thank you for the noise. Oh, that's me. That's me.
Prataya, we got Prataya the uh, last part. Uh, I thought, uh, why it's slippery, extremely. Right? <laughs> it was extremely slippery anyway. Yeah, yeah, anyway. <laughs> and in the good spirit of the group, we're helping him out. Uh, we're going to change his tire and then he's going to come and ride along with us. Well guys, I just had my first spill. I hope it's the last. But it's all good. I didn't get hurt. Uh, a friend of mine, you know, helped me up with the bike. Again, I'm getting a little fed up of all the rocks. It was because of the rocks that I fell and, uh, well, and my lack of skill as well, I guess. Well guys, these friends here from Morocco, but they live in, in Germany. They yeah. just stopped by and they wanted to get some pictures with us. Exactly. And they're going to be in the vlog. So Thank stay you guys. Guys. Yeah. Have a nice trip, guys. Bye. 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 Well guys, quite an amazing spot. It's quite a climb up here too. But this is definitely a cool spot. If you get a chance, you should definitely come and visit. I'm digging it. But right now, what I'm really digging is going for lunch. <laughs> Well guys, lunch was delicious and it really hit the spot, but it's time to hit the road again.
here we are on day two of the Africa Twin Morocco Epic Tour and things aren't going so well for me. Uh, I've been having problems with my left leg. Uh, I started cramping up yesterday and the doctors advised me not to continue because I was incurring the risk of doing some serious damage to my inner thigh muscle. So I had to ride all the way here to lunch break uh, on the road on tarmac. And uh, you know, I've been kind of feeling out my leg and seeing if I could protect myself and somehow find a way of shifting without, you know, making so much effort with a muscle. And I think I did, and uh, I'm feeling better. So I'm gonna join a slower group and see if I can make it off-road in the afternoon because it'll be a bummer if I just keep doing road. I'm here to do off-road. Today the views were pretty amazing, which kind of makes for the upset of not going off-road, but of course it's not the same thing. Um, Morocco is beautiful, as you can see. I mean. We're right here in the middle of nowhere. This is a picnic camp, you know, for the lunch of day two. And uh, we're sort of like in this little oasis area. Well guys, just finished lunch, ate a lot of bananas and I'm ready to hit the track again. guys so stoked to be riding the desert and we find a herd of camels not sure if they're wild I don't think so there's like a tent there somebody takes care of them I think este es el guía de este grupo que me ha juntado hola amigos estoy hablando en español porque son de España como se dice hola en portugués hola hola estamos aquí en el desierto es nuestro guía para ver si nos perdemos y los vamos a perder Nos vamos a perder. Hostia. <laughs> we always have a support vehicle behind us and there's also a doctor vehicle a little further behind. So this makes us feel really safe and because uh, we're in a really desolated area. All in all, so stoked to be back in the saddle. Get dry so quick here in the desert, man. I gotta keep drinking every five, ten minutes. It's crazy.
I don't know what I missed in the morning and I don't know if I want to know but what I really know is that I'm really stoked I didn't miss the afternoon so much fun some sketchy places but man this place is really really cool to ride big motorcycles I mean this is a really unique kind of riding you do feel that you're in the desert and it does have a special kind of feeling all in all what a fun ride Check this out guys, this is simply amazing, so beautiful, and we're right here in the middle of nowhere, nobody can hear us, nobody can find us, just us and the dirt and the rocks trying to throw us off our bikes. Guess I'm almost riding to the edge of my capabilities, but uh, still having a blast, uh, I hope I don't fall, that's all I wish for today, and to get to the hotel and relax and hopefully my body will heal for tomorrow. ¿Qué está pasando aquí? Pues ratito, no sé, está la cosa muy malita. No, muy malita. Sé, no sé, no sé, no sé. La gente que ha caído. A ver cómo va a acabar esto, a ver cómo va a acabar. De momento igual nos mojamos. Pero bueno, bien. Nos mojamos, ya hemos empujado. Aquí está el jefe. No, no, aquí no es jefe. El jefe. Nosotros somos perros pastores. Mucho, ca mucho no, calor. No ha comido. No ha comido falta de técnica. No ha pagado el bajón, no ha pagado el bajón. Y le ha pagado la pajara. Nosotros tenemos falta de técnica. La pajara que estoy. <ríe> Perfecto, yo me lo estoy pasando muy bien. Quitado las incidencias que están habiendo, pero bueno. ¿Y tú, Jesús, cómo estás? Hola, pues nada, estoy bien. Pues sí, he caído, lo que pasa es que me ha pillado la, la moto encima con el pie vuelto. Entonces ahí ha estado el, el problema, pero espero que no sea nada grave. Well, it looks like there were a few falls and somebody's hurt. They're going to take him to the hospital. Uh, we suspect like a broken foot or something like that. It happens, these bikes are heavy. Uh, the terrain was pretty treacherous. Like I said, I was riding to the edge of my abilities in some parts. So, not completely unexpected, I think. But uh, that's what this is all about. It's about coming here, you know, and having your adventure. And sometimes when you are looking for adventure, adventure finds you. Ya me he levantado unas cuantas motos hoy, he hecho pasado algunas y me tenéis puteado. So we're gonna head out together now, uh, so we stay all safe. We're back in the road again now, so uh, should be all good from now. What up guys, so this is day three of the Africa Twin Morocco Epic Tour. And in order to get to this, I had to get me some of this and this. Now that's what I'm talking about. Pido que seáis sinceros con vosotros mismos, no conmigo, con vosotros mismos. Todo el que hoy esté fatigado, desde ayer ya está un poco tratado, y mañana tiene una etapa muy importante, mañana es muy importante, os pido por favor que toméis la opción de, de descanso, de esa alternativa, por favor, venid para acá, nos comunicáis que nosotros tengamos claro qué personas se quedan en el hotel.
So day three, we had the option of either doing a small route or staying at the hotel resting. This is the only time that we sleep two nights in a row in a hotel. So this was actually the only chance of doing this during this whole trip. Tomorrow is going to be a 400K stage. It's going to be really tough for sure. And the next two days, they're not gonna be easy. So not doing 100Ks in a 3000K trip, I don't think was that big of a deal. And getting my muscles in shape for a 400K stage tomorrow was much more important. This is definitely a challenging adventure. If you're looking to test your limits, you'll find them here, I assure you. And I do recommend this epic tour for anyone willing to do that. Other than that, you really need to be prepared for something like this. Do not come here inexperienced. Do not come here unprepared. Do not come here with your stock bike because it will fail. Well, you guys are fed up of hearing me whine, so let's jump straight into day four. Voy poca visibilidad, no vamos a poder ver la estela del que venía delante. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es lo que apunta, lo que está apuntando Juan durante estos días. Vamos a ir pendiente del, del que viene de atrás. Pero cuando lleguemos a un cruce en el que tenemos que cambiar de rumbo, yo me voy a parar y voy a esperar el segundo. Cuando el segundo este sepa que ya este, está en el cruce, yo continúo hasta el siguiente. Okay guys, so we're getting some warnings for poor visibility today. Uh, watch out for each other because we don't want anybody to get lost. This is going to be a tough day, so uh, I'm glad I got some rest yesterday. I'm feeling stoked and pumped for today. I hope everything goes okay. I'll catch you guys in the next stop. Well guys, a really cool track, some pretty difficult parts, just so much rock that uh, you know the bike keeps drifting, you just feel you're going to fall at any moment, but uh, so far so good. Today is a really long track so we're trying to keep like a faster pace, but we're a really long group and not everybody has the same rhythm, so uh, it's kind of challenging to keep the pace. So I have to keep stopping and wait for the slower guys to reach us and uh, then we keep going again, so I guess it's time to go again. You gotta get into
magical place. Gorgeous track. So hard to describe and so much fun. I hope the cameras give you a little notion of what this is. I know they never do justice. They never show how hard it is. Not that this was too hard, but it has its moments. And uh, I mean, the beauty is just, and we're not in the prettiest day. I mean, visibility is pretty short. There's a lot of dust in the air, but still, I mean, wow. Yeah, uh, it was very hard for me, tough for me. Yeah. And, uh, uh, the beautiful mountain road, but uh, truck was slippery. <laughs> yeah, slippery, yeah, yeah, indeed. Slippery. Yeah. Here comes our saviors. It almost looks like another planet, but uh, wow, really stoked to be here, man. Casi seguro que se ha sido de eso que me ha caído, eh. No, no está pinchado, pero es lo que ha sido en esa. Tira la rueda, ven. ¿Está bien? Está un poquito para hacer así. Bueno, pero un poco normal. Well guys, not really a happy camper right now. Uh, I was really enjoying this trail and out of the blue I had a weird fall like my front wheel had blocked but of course we have ABS but uh, it wasn't just that it was just weird and I fell and after that we got the bike up and I tried to ride and I couldn't. It, it's just like the bike wasn't turning like uh, the front was completely drifting like sideways weird. Then the mechanics got to me and uh, I told him that I couldn't ride. We tried to twist the handlebar a bit and it did get better, but it was still feeling weird. And the, then the mechanic tried to ride it himself. He couldn't ride it either. And then we twisted the, the handlebar a bit more. And, and then, yeah, then I'm, I'm able to ride, but I've lost grip in my front wheel. I, I can't corner properly. And uh, with so many cliffs here, I really don't feel safe. Uh, and, such a bummer because I was having so much fun man this is really the kind of trail that I really enjoy and uh, we're not really sure what's going to happen uh, there's like 10 K's or 15 K's up to the next road I'm gonna have to take it easy and be safe try not to fall on a, on a bloody cliff and uh, but 
I don't know, I'm having a bad feeling. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to continue this. I hope they sort it out. Uh, there seems to be some issue with the handlebar extensions I use. They have like long rubbers or some bullshit like that. But uh, man, I, I don't know. I hope they can sort it out because I was really having fun and, and, and now I'm super bummed, super pissed and ah. Well guys, really intense riding, pretty fast, but you gotta keep your eyes on the road. There's rocks everywhere. Some of them pretty big that could knock you down, I think. And then there's like these kind of river crossings or dry river crossings that can be pretty challenging at times, especially if you're not aware and you're coming too fast and you don't see them, huh? <laughs> you're in them for a ride. Luckily, uh, I didn't get any big spooks, but uh, pretty exhausting it's physically demanding and you got to keep your focus so sharp because at any moment you're gonna hit the wrong rock and hit the floor and you really don't want to do that at that speed so far so good again another experience riding the desert at least for me man it's like unlike anything else I've ever ridden so it's a pretty unique experience riding here in the desert so yeah pretty stoked uh, problems in the bike I mean I can feel they're there but in this kind of terrain they're not bothering me as much so back to having fun again Well guys, crazy day, lots of crashes, really exhausting and uh, I guess more than half the people or at least half the people didn't do the last part of the track which was the last 80 k's from lunch to, to the hotel and uh, curiously enough even the fast group isn't here yet and they usually get to the hotel sooner than the guys who come via road which is my case today so yeah really really crazy day amazing in every sense but uh it's just too much for us amateurs i think but uh still quite an experience and uh just gonna get some rest go to sleep as soon as possible because there's more coming tomorrow so stay tuned guys so today is uh, day four or day five I'm completely lost in time now it's like day five I think of uh, the Africa twin Morocco epic tour and we're so bloody tired that instead of being really excited for going to the dunes we're just going like yeah man we're going for the dunes so let's go to the dunes <laughs> com as proteções quando fizeram o seu trabalho, mas que saíram fora. Não há nada que fita americana tá e passadeiras tá plásticas não resolvam.
pero va a ser duro. Well guys, we just stopped here in this castle in the middle of the desert. Unfortunately, my camera, I don't think it was recording for a while, which is a shame because we got some intense moments there. And I'm really bummed that I missed those moments, but uh, well, what are you going to do? de adelante tenga lo menos peso, menos posible. peso posible. Ese es el secreto. Tirar para atrás y siempre con el motor traccionando un poco para poner más leviana la parte de adelante. Perfecto. Y bueno, después obviamente que en la práctica. Sand is indeed a bitch.
dunes, we conquered it, and here we go for lunch. Good morning guys, this is day 6 of the Africa Twin Morocco Epic Tour. I'm already running late, I set my alarm for 7.15pm instead of a.m. I'm so exhausted, uh, I'm starting to make stupid mistakes and uh, what I fear is that I start making mistakes like that on the trail and pay dearly for them. I really have no energy for today and they say it's going to be a long day so Let's start with breakfast and see if we can find some energy. Well guys, food is more than plentiful, but it's still hard to replenish your energies for such a big effort. Double orange juice to see if we can get that hydration going. Aquí estamos con los mecánicos que ponen las motos marchando todos los días para nosotros para podemos continuar a masacrarlas en las pistas. Okay, breakfast's done. Let's see if we can recover part of the lost time. And if being late wasn't enough, you have to run through this endless labyrinth until you find your room. And then there's all these chores that you gotta do every day to get ready to go. See, every day we gotta pack up this big bag and we gotta dress up all the equipment. You know, chest protector, kidney belt, jacket, neck brace, boots, motocross pants, knee braces. And it's just like that every single day. Pack up your bags, move on, ride the trails, go to another hotel, barely sleep, and get going again the next day. This is a tough tour, man. Well guys, looks like I'm not the only one running late, so I still made it on time for the briefing. So let's see what's on the menu for today. Si ayer alguien me pinchó de neumático, por favor, comproba presión y o bien en el camión o bien en la gasolinera y meter presión porque tiene bastante piedra. En Gurrama está la única gasolinera que hay en el recorrido y que es obligatorio repostar, porque es la única que hay y si no se reposta ahí no se va a llegar a la Los guías ya saben que la gasolinera es un poco especial y que el gasolinero puede estar o no. Salimos a las 9 y cada 5 minutos sale un grupo. ¿Vale? So right after the briefing we came here to gas up and we're gonna do a little bit of road until we hit the trails again. Me gustaría mucho de agradecer a nuestros amigos españoles por me recibir en tan bien, aunque yo sea portugués como Anton Diz.
Well guys, absolutely beautiful road trip today. This is the only gas station in the middle of the desert. We all have to gas up here and we're almost reaching lunch. And after that, we're gonna hit the trails. Food. Well guys, the really tricky part is not to eat too much and not to eat too little. If you eat too much, you're not going to feel well at the trails. If you don't eat enough, well, you're probably not going to have enough energy. Pá, o grupo está todo a divertir-se imenso, que é isso que importa. Estão a desfrutar da qualidade da África Twin, a desfrutar da beleza de Marrocos, das belíssimas pistas que temos em Marrocos, a areia, dunas, e por isso acho que está tudo encaminhado. Pá, parabéns à Onda por uh, organizar estes eventos para que os clientes possam desfrutar das maravilhas que tem o deserto aqui em Marrocos. Não, mas bem, o Paulo não disse que está a atrasar o grupo dos portugueses. Não, 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 não,
queda súper torcido y no va por donde yo quiero, ¿sabes? Well guys, amazing trails today. I wish I wasn't so tired so I could take full advantage of it. Amazing views, the terrain is really, really good. I wish I had more energy. <laughs> All in all, super positive experience. Thank you Honda for making such an amazing event possible. I hope you guys enjoyed the series and stay tuned because I'll be coming back for another adventure pretty soon.